Hi everyone, uh, today we're looking at the ABUS 78KC50. Uh, it looks an awful lot like any other uh, dial combination lock that you've probably seen. Uh, you know, the Master Lock 1500, same general style, same basic uh, principle of operation. You spin the wheel a certain number of times in different directions and stop on different numbers and that uh, is how you enter the combination. Uh, but this has a, a feature that's a bit more interesting to us as a uh, as lock pickers. And that is if we flip it over, we'll see that it has this uh, this key operated mechanism on the back. Now what is that for? That is where the KC in the name comes from. It's the key control version. So I take the appropriate override key stick it in, turn it, and it unlocks. Uh, now you can see while I have it open here uh, some of the shim protection measures that they've taken. It has this uh, tab on the side here where the shackle actually locks uh, and that stops you from being able to insert a shim into it and that actually has a corresponding groove cut into the uh, toe of the shackle and then also if you uh, if I can get the lighting correct come on let's go up right there we go you can see that it does have a rather radical uh, hook to the uh, shackle latch there and that's because it uh, that also contributes to preventing someone from shimming this lock so, you're pretty well protected against shimming, uh, and this is uh, heavily coated steel, so it'll probably stand up to at least some abuse. But uh, we're going to take a look at what we can do to this lock to get it open. Now, if you see here, hopefully the lighting and focus is cooperating, you can see uh, the beginning of a wafer mechanism here. Now, this one that we can actually see doesn't actually match up with any of the teeth on the key. It rides on this flat part right here uh, between the shoulder of the, of the key and the actual uh, cuts on it. So we're going to need to figure out a way to engage that while we pick because that, uh, from my testing, seems to be some sort of either additional wafer or some sort of sidebar mechanism. But it's pretty easy to overcome if you have the right tension tool. Uh, this is the sort of medium uh, non-serrated tool out of the Peterson Flat 5 set. And uh, we're bringing back our friend the snowman pick uh, that I showed you in the video on wafer locks because this is a wafer lock mechanism. So we're going to insert this here and pull up so that uh, our tension tool is going to disengage that additional uh, wafer there. And we're going to apply tension and start just moving this up and down. And already we're getting a bit of a set to it, which is good because that means that we're getting close. So as we, once we have that, there we go. And now that we have it rotated uh, nearly 90 degrees, it comes unlocked. So, what does this mean? Where do you find these sorts of locks? Usually, you're going to find them in uh, places like schools, where schools or, or companies that provide locker facilities where uh, they issue the locks to you and they treat the lockers as their property. So, they'll usually retain these in case of either uh, you forgetting your combination, they don't have to go around clipping the locks. Uh, the other thing is that they can, in the event that they feel the need to search uh, your locker, they can get in there without, have, again, having to destroy the lock or the locker. Uh, but that does mean that someone with two very simple, fairly cheap tools can get into this. I mean, I actually bought the override key for this off of Amazon for, I think, $5 or something. A bit pricey for a key, but it will open 
quite a lot of these uh, padlocks. So just keep that in mind. Anytime you see one of these padlocks with a key override, Master Lock makes a version of the 1500 that has one on the back as well. I don't have one of those in my collection right now. But just remember, that mean, uh, this key override mechanism means that you are not only vulnerable to uh, a, a clever thief being able to break into your locker, take your stuff, and then lock it up like uh, nothing ever happened, but it also means that uh, your employer or your school administration or uh, whoever else can get uh, an override key, get into your uh, locker, and then again lock it back up without you knowing that they were there, except by you know whatever they took out. So, uh, if you're going to get one, of, if you're going to get a combination lock, which I don't really recommend most of the time. Get something without the uh, key control mechanism, uh, if you have a choice. So, in the meantime, uh, happy picking, and and I'll be seeing people at uh, the Tool Lockpick Village at Hope uh, in about a week, or at the end of this week. So, happy picking, and stay safe, everyone.